When it comes to safety, control, and confidence out on the trail, braking power is one of the most important features of your bike. And today, we're gonna to be taking a look at TRB components and their Evo line of brakes. There are three models of Evo brakes available, and today we're gonna to talk about the similarities and differences in each model. So this is an on-the-fly towy lasso. Cowboy. Welcome back folks. If you've seen many of our videos in the past, you've noticed that we are big fans of TRP brakes. Uh, there is a reason for that. We love the reliability, the consistency, and the absolute stopping power these brakes possess. TRP stands for Tektro Racing Products, which is the high performance branch of Tektro. Tektro has been making and manufacturing bicycle components for 35 years. They now have four buildings in total with two state-of-the-art facilities, including a number of automated CNC machines and other high-tech manufacturing equipment. Now, a couple years back, we did review some brakes when TRP was kind of just first coming on as a, you know, renewed mountain bike brake company. And uh, felt that they were a little underpowered. The modulation was great, but there were some issues. After taking a little bit of feedback from their testing and development riders, um, they came out with this new Evo line of brakes and have been slowly adding to that line over the years. As you can see on two of my personal bikes here, the Specialized Levo and Specialized Enduro, I have opted to run the DHR Evo brakes on both of these bikes. Uh, the DHR Evo is their most expensive offering in the lineup. It is designed for downhill, enduro, full weight e-bikes, and uh, they're just the, the most expensive and the best offering with all the bells and whistles included. Stepping down from that, you can move into the newer Trail Evo brake, and then another step down below that, you have got the Slate Evo. Now we're gonna talk about what the similarities and differences in each one of these brakes and uh, kind of help you guys decide which one might be the right one for you if you're looking to increase power and reliability on your brakes. Now across the line, no matter which set of Evo brake you get, you're gonna benefit from dual 16 millimeter pistons, uh, making each caliper a four piston setup. There's 360 degree oil flow so that you can guarantee all four of these pistons are gonna be smoothly and evenly actuating and clamping down on the rotors. Also unique to the Evo line of brakes is the five millimeter housing. This allows for smooth, wide open flow of fluid into the 2.3 millimeter high flow calipers. Something else that's really neat about these brakes is that there are no 90 degree bends inside. The fluid can smoothly and freely flow. Once again, improving lever feel and performance, ensuring everything's working as smooth and effortlessly as possible. TRP has put a lot of thought into the Evo line and how the oil flows through their calipers. Um, obviously, there is a lot more oil in these systems, which makes it harder to heat up. They resist boiling. It also means that you don't have to bleed your brakes as much because the oil isn't heating up quite as much as systems that have a lower uh, oil volume inside them. Another nice feature that comes across all Evo brakes is the toolless reach adjust. Now, many other brakes out on the market, as you start stepping down in price to their more affordable offerings, lose some of the little creature comforts like a toolless reach adjust. Uh, not with the TRPs, you can get that all across the line, which is something we definitely think is cool. You will notice though that with the Slate Evo, the finish and size of the lever is a little bit different than the Trail and DHR Evo brakes, uh, which means a little bit less fluid in there. Also, we'll have a little bit lighter lever feel because of this. There are some benefits to it, uh, and it could be a good option if you're not the most downhill biased rider, you're looking to save a little bit of weight, um, or you're just not someone that's just charging super steep extended downhills. When it does come time to hit those long descents, TRP has got you covered with their 2.3 millimeter thick rotors which is what we run on the front of our e-bikes, uh, some of our downhill enduro bikes, and uh, really helps you maximize the power 
also lets these rotors get rid of heat very quickly. That extra material on these thick rotors uh, is less likely to warp as they get hot and cool back down over and over again. Um, obviously also gives you great stopping power. So um, these are all features that will carry across all of the Evo line of brakes uh, and are similarities that really help make these things stand out in our opinion. So let's start out with the Slate Evo, which is the most affordable brake in the Evo lineup. Retailing for $139.99 per wheel, this features a 10 millimeter master cylinder piston, which is designed to give a pretty linear feel at the lever. It is a little bit lighter and its intended application is kind of more for that uh, lighter weight, aggressive trail, bordering on all mountain rider. Uh, someone who's just looking for a little lighter brake than the Trail or DHRs, but still wants to have some nice performance and reliability. The Slate Evo has the same amount of fluid capacity as other brakes in the Evo line. However, it has a different lever and caliper shape to reduce weight. Because of these changes, TRP is also able to bring down the price point a little bit. However, the flip side is that they are not going to be quite as robust for extended downhill runs or heavier riders looking to self-shuttle their e-bikes. Next, we'll move up to the Trail Evo, which is, uh, sports a lot more similarities to the DHR Evo. It has the same high flow caliper used on the DHR, uh, can be used with the 2.3 millimeter rotors. Again, same dual 16 millimeter pistons and 10 millimeter master cylinder piston. In the rack, when it comes to testing, these have slightly less power than the DHR Evo, but they have a pretty similar heat management system and a little bit more modulation at the lever. Um, that is something to note. Uh, the DHR Evos have absolutely the most power. They are just, it's like dropping an anchor off the back of your bike. Um, but the modulation isn't quite as good as it is on these trail Evos. And depending on, again, your weight and your riding style, you may not need that much power and you could get by with having a little better modulation on these trail Evos but still having some pretty solid power and heat management, all for a little bit more affordable price. So then moving on to the DHR Evos, they are without a doubt the most powerful brake in the lineup. They've got a very light lever feel. They have a very nice finish to them, especially if you get these limited edition gold ones that you see on my specialized Enduro here and are really just the pinnacle of the Evo family when it comes to braking performance. Now, again, depending on what you do out on the bike, how much you weigh, how much time you spend descending, obviously what your budget is, you could probably pick a brake that's gonna be the best fit for you. According to TRP, there is quite a bit of overlap, and being that it is an Evo level brake, it will definitely blur the boundaries a little bit. I think the DHR Evo will definitely be overkill for you know 140 bikes and under, unless you're just an absolute shredder and love beating the crap out of your short travel uh, trail bike. But a trail Evo or maybe even a slate Evo could be a great option or a solid way to go, especially if you ride more flow trails or, or trails where you don't need to be on the brakes for extended periods of time. If you're an e-bike rider, um, I think the DHR or the Trail Evo are gonna be a solid option, uh, especially if you are a rider, e-bike or not, that's in that 200 plus category. Uh, you know, you're in the Rockies or, you know, the Sierras, anywhere where you're just really doing long extended downhill. Now, along with having reliable and really consistent braking performance with excellent power, something else that we really like about TRP brakes is the fact that they're very easy to get in touch with. Tektro and TRP have a US office located in Utah where they are more than willing to work with customers, help answer questions, and ensure that you are getting the right brake for your application. Along with a growing line of brakes, TRP has some new drivetrain stuff in the works and we are very excited to test it out in the future. So we hope that we helped address some of the questions you might have had in this Evo brake lineup. Please feel free to reach out with any questions you have down below. Maybe you're torn between which model to get or how they compare to another brake that you might have on your bike currently. We will do our best to get back to you guys and respond with anything we can that'll help you guys. 
Um, if it's something that's a little bit more technical focused on the product and we don't have that knowledge, we'll reach out to TRP for you guys and have them get back to you and uh, share any information or insight that they might have. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more info and reviews coming in the future. Thanks again, and we'll see you out on the trail.